work and no play makes me a dull boy. No work and no play makes me a dull boy! What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Harbinger50. We are playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Sound check. Sound check. Good. Alright, so yesterday we finished the main game with old Arthur Shua Morgan. It's kind of sad. But now we're in the epilogue and we're back to playing with old John Marston. Who is desperately trying to set his life right with his wife. And, well, it hasn't exactly gone according to plan. But, that is where we're picking up. We are in the epilogue, part two, I think. Maybe it was three. Um, and, yeah, we just helped Sadie finish a uh, bounty mission. Or, returning a bounty to her that was stolen from her. And then she turned, it in, turned him in. <laughs> And we found Anyone Charles. There's more money to be made in Blackwater. Uh, well, out, right. of the way. out of the way, we were just riding near him. I was just trying to hear what they were saying, man. Calm down. We found Uncle, we found Charles, found Sadie. There's word that Mike is around, no one knows anything about Dutch. Meanwhile, John is trying to get his uh, shitty little ranch up and running. And that, that's about it. So let, let's see if we got a mission. Oh, we do right here already. Albert Cakes. My uncle said you can buy a pre cut house. Okay, it's, it's showing up now. It wasn't showing up earlier. Um, that's that's what I came into town first before I ran into Sadie. Um, probably can't do it right now since it's like dead at night. But maybe it's not dead at night. Maybe it's close enough to. Still be open. Let's see. This guy. Hey, the door's open. Let's try it. That's not what I meant. That's what I meant. Get off the horse. All right. But yeah, I'm, I'm really trying to finish the game today. That's why I'm playing a little early today. <laughs> a little. Um, okay. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Is that right? Which house do you want? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks. Maybe sooner. I'll take that one. Ah, uh -huh, yes, we have that one in stock. And I already got credit from the bank. Oh, fantastic. Well, that's now, easy. You write your name here. And uh, you sign your name there. And you will be the proud owner of a factory-built home. It's that easy. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Martin. Albert Cakes, Esquire, at your service. You boys give me a minute. <sighs> Suddenly, what? What are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. Uncle's gone. Fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. This skin is about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these skinners can be nasty. Come on. Mr. Devon, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're going to be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. All 
I know the quickest way. Follow me. I'm trying. This thing's moving kind of slow. All right, here we go. That's a, that's a bunch of lumber. So they weren't going to build it for us? It's it, pre-made. Say, is your friend a Negro or a Redskin? Yes. I think a bit of both, for what it's worth. Cash is cash. So it's all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. But I know a thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. Unless they got Unless more they than a couple the people. I mean, they're carrying something valuable instead of pre cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait. Look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. <laughs> you hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. Yeah, so I'll keep sit telling here yourself that, buddy. Scary, and you can concentrate on the horses. <laughs> All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before, and maybe I can handle a weapon. You gonna get but I'm killed. not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. Hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. Now, where were you? People wonder how you can handle it, living by your gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. Why we slow down? Home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. Mm -hmm. Chopping right. wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. All That's right. uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. With all I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. I'm guessing we come back out to some gunfire. Like I said, Niels is uh, an acquired taste. Okay, I heard you, Let man. Let me do the talk. <laughs> Niels. Nils, it's me. Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best. Best smith around. <laughs> he needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope? Okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils? Okay. So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, let's get moving. <laughs> okay. That was random. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Beecher's Hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. Seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But more power to you. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. Ah, Andy, damn. Whoa! 
find some cover. And my big badass gunman is uh already hurt. Okay, that works. Hold tight, Willie. God damn. Keep your head down. Oh shit. Who are these people? He's running at you. It's the skipper. Damn, they're everywhere. Shit. Oh, shit, I ain't got enough. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I wasn't ready for this. That's not what I need right now. What I need right now is a uh, boot. Oh. A little more than that. Didn't do it, man. Come on. Do the thing. Mr. Wayne, are you okay? I'm not. You ain't gonna make it. Much use to you. Yeah, I realize that, buddy. Last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grabbed Mr. Wayne. What? All right, Damn it. Stay here. Guard the wagons. Charles, come on.
Mr. White! We're coming! I found the tools. Now, where's Mr. Damn. All right. Shit. That's fucked up right there. Jesus. Move fast. Come on. Why? I got a lot of bodies to loot, man. Don't make me run off from this. Back to the road. So many bodies to loot. God damn it. Nerd in training. Dude, what is going on, man? My ear off. You know what he Welcome to the stream, job. dude. Appreciate you dropping in. Did he? Let's get it. Everyone is protein. There you are. Except me. It's not all protein shaking. Yeah, Professor. Charles, you all right carrying him? I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody, too. Is he... is it... bad? They opened him up pretty good. Nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them! I thought they had a knife through his brain. I was trying to figure out why we were carrying him back. Mr. Wayne didn't make it! Here, Lord, no. Oh, okay. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me! Um. All right, let's get out of here. Nah, I'm looting a couple of them. Oh my lord! What they do to him? Nothing nice. Got it. Come on, we gotta go. Shit. Not yet. We don't. There's too many bodies here. I gotta loot some. Come on now. <laughs> Thanks for the load. I'm avoiding my barbecue guests watching the stream in my office. <laughs> oh man, I'm I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, at least I can provide you some relief. <laughs> some entertainment. I ain't done here. I'm looting bodies, bitches, unless you make me fail the mission. Then I'll be upset. It's right there, man. Get him. Is that my hat? I think that's my hat. Let me get my hat. Yeah, but I'm going to be able to sneak away for long. Not going to be able to sleep. Yeah, I hear you. Well, I might not be playing that long right now, but I'll definitely be playing some more later. I'm just trying to finish the damn game today. I've been playing this thing for over a month. I just looked that up today. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna put in some extra time. Of course my brother's supposed to be coming by to pick up some stuff in our in my shop that he'd been storing things in. So I might be stopping sooner than I expected, but that's okay. I can always jump back on. Oh, I had three of my subs DM me saying they are unsubbing if I don't stream tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> like, were they being serious or is it people you know? Alright, I guess that's pretty good. Where's my, wait, where's my wagon? Oh, it's in the front. I think they're just joking. <laughs> you think you hope, right? Get us back to beaches. Get us back to the bitches. That's what I heard. You know, we need to get back to the beaches, man. Get the beaches. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. 
What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. I wish I could send you audio the on this out. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense so about civilization? Oh. <laughs> this kind of bloodshed is different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. And that was fun for them? No. You're gonna have to that repair time. that fence now. Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Mountain cooler, what is going on, into. man? How you been? A caravan. A few months back, massacred. Uncle! Welcome to the stream, dude. How you been? Uncle! I'm doing all right. Uncle! Might be a short stream, just saying. You useless sack. But I'm going to be playing for a little bit here. I was keeping here. guard. Really? Where are you? Ooh. Hiding back there. What happened? Skinner hey, brothers. thank you for that host, Nerd and Dream. Appreciate that. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devin back to town. I'm going to pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared them off for now. I mean, we killed damn near 20 of them. Shit. Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. If you say so. <laughs> Jabroni. <laughs> All right. And John. What? I love you. Okay. Don't you forget that. I'm hearing the voices again, y'all. Oh, oh, God, the voices. No. Alright man, it's empty. Give it up. You tilt it that far back, you slurping, and you still had something to dump out? Give me a break. Bank loan received $23. Morning, John. Okay. Am I supposed to be going in to make the payments? <laughs> Morning. Um oh good, we got a camp now on my piece of land here. Um, do I have a mission right now? Let's see. Got uncle over here. That's it. Alright, fine. Let's go do this. Hey, everybody. Good morning. Ah. Tell me, how's it going? Good enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> good chat. How's it going? Good enough. Okay. Yep. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, good. I got my stamina up. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy if enough. You can read them. How hard can it be? <laughs> but I'll tell you what I think. Just to be safe. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's no, it inaccurate ain't. and not what's going to happen. Totally I'm accurate. Simply totally going what's going to happen. What I've got, okay, gotta go which is alert. a brain. All right, man. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, Appreciate first thing it, it says the foundation. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago, unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the Gladly. work day's over. That'll Don't tempt work. me. <laughs> oh, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back. Uh, just saw him while. at the camp. Charles, dear boy. <laughs> John, John needs help you, moving these joists. So come on. Get right. a move on. We gotta get started before the rains but come. Can I borrow it first? You're very God annoying. damn it, like this monster. Why are you always right. coming at me about some tree fitting? Get on with you this. get on, get out of here. <laughs> it's about the time I realized that nerd training was a seven story tall uh, creature from the Paleolithic area. I said, God damn it, like this monster. You get out of here. Music, right? Oh, I'm supposed to be doing something. I thought it was a cutscene. They still got the cutscene, like bars and stuff. I think they skipped a little part. We, who laid all the brick down? Um.
I'm sorry, are we supposed to be nailing boards straight down into nothing? Like, what? Why? Don't work too hard, Daryl. What are you nailing it into? The brick. I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail, and I'll nail it. <laughs> well, we worked so hard to build a little house together. What is this, a Disney and movie now? Or the rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. We moved the wood and built my house. No matter. Left foot, right foot. What the weather. All right. We're together. Oh, oh, now I see what they're nailing into. They weren't showing that part. And that's not what it looked like at all before. This part makes sense now with the nails. The first part did not make sense. Okay, we're just nailing things. We're nailing it, y'all. Who built the chimney? Where did that come from? I didn't see that part at all. Red Dead Redemption. Come for the gun fights. Stay for the house building. What are you nailing it into? Again, what was he nailing it into? It doesn't make any sense. I do believe the game developers have never built a thing with hammers and nails in their life. Wood is supposed to be nailed into another object. You don't just nail... Don't just hammer nails into wood. Randomly. Rule and a saw with a board and I'll cut it. Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail and I'll nail it. Well, we worked so hard to build a little house. Lord of Night 9 is now hosting me. Why, thank you, Lord of the Night. I appreciate that host. Rain or the ice cold wind, whenever. There, this works. No this nailing makes sense. We're nailing wood into other pieces of wood, not just putting nails in wood. Ah, uh, y'all need to stop that. Getting a little carried away, Uncle. You've been drinking. You've been hitting that sauce again, ain't you? Okay. Red Dead Redemption 2, y'all. I'm just hitting X. I'm not even watching now. I'm just hitting X. And I think that's everything. Kaboom! <laughs> John Marston. You the third one home. burned down, then fell over and sank into the so swamp. You. But the fourth one, <laughs> the fourth up. one stayed up. <laughs> Lord of the Night, how's it going? As long as I'm you doing all right. How us. are you? Thank you. Appreciate that, host. <laughs> Gentlemen. Not the most it exciting part of the home. game, but there you go. We just built a house, y'all. At least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> oh, oh, that was pretty good. <laughs> Dear woman, what was your name? It's been so long, I My forgot. Darling Abigail. <laughs> now we're I on hope you and Jack are doing well. This has turned into the Hallmark I Channel. I a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. Well, yeah, I guess so. But I'm trying very hard. To, to be not something be a fool. like the man you deserve. A lot of fools in this. Oreo side is now hosting me. Why, thank you, Oreo. Very silly. Appreciate that. An effort to impress you. And that is. Look, a flashback to what home. we did five minutes ago. <laughs> the land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. <laughs> Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle. While I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he They're about the same as everybody's feelings for Uncle. He's hugely annoying and fashion. a pain in the ass. He's Charles old fashioned. Smith Drunk, that's also what he means. Appeared and is unsurprisingly... For those of you who haven't been paying attention to the game you've together, been playing, here's a, here's a, here's a summary home. of the last two hours of gameplay. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you... And the boy, whatever his name more was, than I can express <laughs> the boy. <laughs> Please, can't remember quite what we called him. So I'll just Yours put the always, boy. That'll seem John. like it's endearing, and that it's a pet name for him. <laughs> just call him the boy. A few days later, 
You build a house, and a few days later, she's just gonna boom show up. Cowboy builder. A trophy. Time to go shoot some people, right? Well, it's still standing. Till the first gust of wind comes through. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? Where, where's Uncle? A new Jerusalem. What? That's random. Come on, horse. Let's find Uncle. Nobody's got names around here. We got horse, we got Uncle, we got boy. Should probably not run through the field like that. I don't know. Horse has a name, I just don't like the name. Who names a horse Rachel? Whoa, whoa! Whoa, you almost ran into a tree. I'm pretty good at doing that. Hey, calm down, horse. Just one time I hope to find you working. Just <laughs> once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John? Marston? I hope you do, because you about to no. die, bitch. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin'. So, <laughs> was you born old? old? <laughs> facing death, I can be some two penny slave driver. Kick him in the nuts, man. Along and Kick him in the nuts. Journey into the grave. <laughs> this is a fatal condition I got. Yeah, it's so fatal, fatal it's taking forever. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, Farming <laughs> ranching, That's planting weird. something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. All right, and plant cows. Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. <laughs> and cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is? <laughs> 1785? Alert, but have fun. This is the game. Yeah, it is. I appreciate like that. This you is have the good industrial time. age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. I can't move like I used to. Man, I never was that fast. All right, so you're saying you're already dead, Charles? You watch this whole property hole. for Let's us. Go. You see anything we should be worried about? Skinners? No. Seems quiet. Yeah, this fella Good. probably saw you. Maybe that oh, was all. Here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube. Hey, I'm trying to talk to Charles over here. Outhouse. What are you? And I'm going to rob him blind. What? <laughs> Uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. All right, Uncle. Thinking about it? Huh. I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Sure you can. Let's get robbed again? Yeah. Uh, oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt, neither. Well, and that's you, is Jesus, it? Jesus, Uncle, really? With your famous way with All right, people. dog. Just bumping into my chair now. As it is. Uh -huh. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, my debt? If they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. Do you? I like it too much. You're far too comfortable. You're getting old. You even got You're getting old, Uncle. You should probably be thinking about finding a place of your own, finally. You know? Living on your own for once. I don't think he's ever done that. He's been parasitizing since the day he was born. Whoa! Whoa, what? Why are we whoaing? Just riding into town, that's all. Oh! Oh, what? This is him. Hey, I built that house, buddy. It's pretty nice, I think. I haven't seen the inside of it, but, you know. Hi. And how are we? How's little Emily? Who? Emily. I'm sorry, I thought, um, how are you? Good. We need a barn. This is a Emily. barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scar-faced loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, all, have a look. <laughs> That one. 
Maybe that one. Yeah. We're an excellent choice. We have a couple already cut and in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, it's my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Al. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. What's wrong with this guy? How He's we acting pay all for nervous. <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, I, I, but I, this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can Thanks. you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Perfect timing, hey. look that at Sadie that. Is that Adler? No, hey. it's a different Sadie. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got to work. work. I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I'm... You up for a fight? Is it yep. legal? <laughs> well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. That's what I live With for, you, it'll die. be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. <laughs> Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Shut up. That, that's hurtful. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. Okay. I know the place. I guess I'll leave. Okay, I'll follow you. Right, the Painted Sky. I don't know where it is. She just took the wrong turn, didn't she? Looked like she turned a hard right there. What? Matt, make up your mind. Hmm? What? What? Well, quit going so damn slow, woman. Come on. Look at you charging away now. What were you saying? By all means, continue. <laughs> Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Javier. Yeah, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Whoa. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Okay. I see an ex Sadie. over to my right. Hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. Yeah, weren't you He's listening? with the Del Lobo gang. The wolf? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some. And some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Oh, good. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Just like we yeah, were. Charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. You're a bad Burnings, situation. Killings, you name it. Not much law, except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but Wait, there ain't the much name? there to hold back the chaos. Wait, why's the map it's keep changing? It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice? Weren't what I heard about him. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Huh, he did not die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I don't know. Well, saying it like that makes me think I should have been able to save him, maybe. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. It won't be. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. Put a machine gun on your you property, man. Something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Good for you. you. Make your straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and <laughs> barked the odd order at us. It's solid, Sounds though. right. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. I know. You come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, <laughs> it sends the wrong message. Really? Oh, that's what I am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. 
That's what the bank says. Oh, well then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, <laughs> ma'am. <laughs> I do enjoy the banner here. Trees, man, stop. He's gonna uh, take, get off the horses here, maybe. You gonna let me pick my guns? Well, I need to get off the horse, right? Mount your what? My horse, why? You're a good filly. We, uh, we did. We're here. How much closer do I need to get? This They're gonna be like, dismount your horse. Here. Looks quiet. Too Mo quiet. Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. I fucking knew it. Now give me my guns. Damn it. Don't do this to me again. What's fucking doing this to me, gang? No, that's all I meant. Forgot I had that one. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Watch, watch, watch out. What? All right. Ugh. That didn't work. Hold on. Let me use the buttons. There we go. <clears throat> what lock are we picking? Ramon Cortez, we what? come for you. Look. Come calmly, and nobody will get hurt. You got him? Yeah, I think so. That ain't him. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Oh, damn. Yeah, that's him. Come on. That was easy. Let's get him to the sheriff. I think we're gonna be uh, sideswiped or, or ambushed come or something. On, that can't be it. Let's go for a ride. That can't We're be going it. to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Good Take to know. me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. It's of course what I would expect you to say. Alright, there's gotta be more to this than just we showed up, punched him once, and now he's down. Or maybe we go to Dewberry and find the rest of his gang and take his money. Sounds like a plan to me. And time is passing now. Creeps. Doesn't look that different. Doesn't look that different to me. That same hillbilly redneck dude on the side still there. Oh. Bring Cortez around the front for me, will ya? I'll Bring get them ready for ya. Okay, I'm trying to hitch the horse. It won't let me hitch the horse. Horse, are you gonna hitch? Made it, girl. Be like this, this ain't Cortez. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. <laughs> you have to give me more than that. Three hundred. We're getting closer. Be quiet, Mr. Sheriff. Mr. Mr. Sheriff, Sheriff we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez. Well, you know, we already well, got him. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, Mr. Hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? 
I'll give two thousand dollars in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid oh. it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. What, Help why? me guard them till my boys arrive. Oh, no, Lord, get here we go. We're gonna have a shootout in the town. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Yeah, Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, right. you did a good job. <laughs> All right. Where's the gunfight coming? You know it's got to come. Any minute, man, my boys will be here. What? You don't seem too nervous. There it comes. And three, four. Whoa, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. There he is. You want that friend back? You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas. Before we kill all of you fools, one. Five. Don't be a dumb bastard. Is that Micah? This is a good town now. Three. Let them have it, boys. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Yeah. Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. Do I get to loot the bodies? I'm looting the bodies. I need money. I'm gonna mount. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna mount up. I'm gonna loot every one of them. Give me the time. I'll be there shortly. Give me a minute. That's how I make half my money. It's my side job, y'all. Pickpocket. Time then, John. Come on. All right, good enough. Don't want to get her all testy with me and shit. I'm coming. She was taking it. Where'd your Where head go? Gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. I was listening. Let's start by looking there. Sure. Sure. You've had some. Bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> he got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, yes we were. I don't like it. 
The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Nope. Yeah. He'll pay up when we... Ah! God damn it! You sons of bitches! She rode me right into them and then they ran me up. Damn! So where was I? Uh, yeah. Thanks for the concern! When we come back with Cortez. Damn it! He's a decent fella! If we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's not a thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. All right. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So... Everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second-guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Let me get a sniper rifle. Yeah. I got a good vantage point. Pow. Vantage point. Oh, where'd you go? Shit. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at them before we do anything. Hey, you know they're not in there. That ain't no good distance. You're ten feet away, little dude right there. Let's go up. Are you letting me keep the guns I want, game? Looks like it. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them? Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You? Me? You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you? I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? No. Nope. Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. Please. And shoot well. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Hey! The cabin's Sadie. Oh, I ain't got shit. What? Oh. What? I didn't kill that guy. Damn it. Not, no, gun, wait for me now. What? Oh, shit. Not. Back in the day, sniper shot would have killed these guys. First time. That was a bad shot. What? That one hit. Bullshit. That's his shot. Headshots don't kill people no more, y'all. Just so you know. Seriously. Where am I looking? I can't 
can't get out of my sh I need to be able to see something. What? What is she whining about? I can't see anybody. I don't see anybody. Oh, there, there. There, Jesus. It would have been easier. Oh! <laughs> Took a quick way down. Oh, that's safety shit. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. We still got crazy music going on. Hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut down now! Oh! Jesus. Bouncing head bouncing heads off of wet sand. That's uh that's pretty serious. Why's it gotta be fucking night? I can't see a damn thing. They keep coming, alright. Might just be. Whenever it switches the scope, it's always aiming a different direction from where I'm looking. I hate that. Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. Anyway, what were you talking about? I don't know. A lot what of crazy talking about. bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. Oh, Not you think so? Clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Come on. I'll come on when I've done. Looting bodies. What? 
Why did I get a minus? Okay, let's go. Why did I get a minus? I ain't do nothing wrong. Let's get out of here. Hey, you shut up. I'm looting these bodies. I work hard. I'm poor, remember? I gotta take everything I can. You just go on without me. Shit. Where's, where's the body? Where's the body? I can't, I can't see the body. There. No, loot him. Why, why aren't we already looted this one? Oh, there, there we go. Search saddlebag. Saddlebag! See? Totally worth it. Totally worth it. You're missing a lot of extra money here, Sadie. Just saying. You could be making twice as much money on all your bounties if you just loot everybody you kill. Ain't a hard concept. Wouldn't think. Where's the body? See up here? Getting all upset about though. Never mind the other 20 back at the main spot. Is there somebody else here? Oh, what? What? What was there? Oh, I just saw something. Oh, let's pick up. Okay. Hey, I'm back. I found a lot of money. Just so you know. There you are, Missy. It's about time we collected this bounty. Bounty. Time, lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. The Belovos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you. You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey. Take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Anita, hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me if that's what we agreed on. Oh, <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Where's the gold? I got gold. Five thousand dollars. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. <laughs> you ain't gonna find much use for it in the short time you got left. Oh, damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been Damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. The both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you. Well, I right. hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fighting, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Yeah, she seems to. Just a little bit. I don't think she's lying here. Sadie's a little, uh, sadistic. She wanna die. She, she, she flat out said it. I wanna die. It's like, so she's just been hoping this whole time to die. Ain't nobody been good enough to kill her yet. Riding back the roads, or are we going to St. Denis? I guess we're going to Rose. We're going to 
assume. What is what? That's a horse. This is a hold up? Is that what he wanted me to say? There you go. still Let's here. Lock. That's awesome. Nobody cleaned up nothing. Hey, look. Looks like they're ready for him. Oh, hush, dog. You're fine. Get him down. I did. Sheriff better move him quick this time. We got him, Sheriff. <laughs> we got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. <laughs> you just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money <laughs> for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Alright. How many more missions we gotta do before this game is over? I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Hey, look, we got a barn now. Damn, how much do I owe on this house? What's your problem, ho uh, horse? Dog? Go out on one bounty and I come back and there's a barn. That's pretty nice. Okay, bust out the other side. How was your holiday? I was making money. And to think, you call me lazy. You've done a great job. Well, that crew did help. A house, a barn. Look at this place. <laughs> I can't believe it. Thank you. Thank you both. This calls for a drink. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend his pack, the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest rend his pack, the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, pump it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives? What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives? And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, oh Lord, that floor's nasty looking. And let us marry be. Our can is full, let's brighten out, and then our hands to see. Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. John! Get out here! Sorry. Uncle's gone! Of course he is. He's fine. Let me sleep. Get out here now! Alright. 
Got some vomit to clean up, man. That fat man will be fine. No, he won't. He's Skinner's. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after him. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. You know this is a trap. <clears throat> I mean, if they were able to get him while we were both passed out, Let's go. why don't they just take us out? Yeah. I track him. Um. I don't know. To the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about it. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do to try and get him back. We let our guards down for Up here. You see that? No. Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. John, look. We should agree on something. What? If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus. You mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scout. But it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. That's pretty brutal right there. Did you hear something? You think they saw us coming? Probably. I guess we're in the trees. Now. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Leave the horses in the trees there. In the trees? <laughs> Why? Why do I have the bow? Do I need the bow? Or is it just because I'm riding with Charles, they're always assuming I need a bow? When did I get this rifle again? Stay. To the trees. Come on. Are we gonna need stealth killing? Do I need to go back for that bow? Up there, to the right. Two Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. Ah, I'll take the other. Hold on, let me get my bow. Shouldn't know. What are you doing? Get my bow. Gotta be quiet, right? Why do I got my lasso out? All right, we're ready. Quick, come on. They're down. Move. Just get my bow for us. Uncle should be close. Just get my arrow on me. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. to our left. Where? Shh. I don't see him. Easy. Oh, oh, oh. Easy. Hold it. Why? Let him go. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. Exactly. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. 
We can totally take him. He was talking about Uncle. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. There's your sense of adventure, man. We could have got him. Where you going, Charles? Stagecoach, they gonna attack him. Hold up. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon, there. Yeah, I saw. Dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Let's follow. He might lead us to the camp. No! Keep on him. Picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Oh, that was close. He's about to get a shot off. I think I see something. Uh huh. Yeah, that must be their camp. What, what do we do? Let's get right. up on that boulder. Take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. This boulder or that boulder? Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Jesus. Can you look too? Hold on. Trying to break we gotta him. go get him. Careful. Where are they? In the trees. Where are they? In the trees. I don't care. Come on. Oh. Charles. Oh. Attacking him out, man. Behind you, Charles. Where's my where's my mm. All right, I didn't have a reticle for a second. The surprise is over! I think I just shot Uncle. God damn it. Uncle, hold on! One left! Where? Like we got here just in time. God. Just Damn. slap a little aloe on it, you'll be fine. Ah, shit. Got him? Cause shit. The rest of them. Quick, there's more of them. Come on. Down that gully.
It don't get infected. Well, it was fire, so hear that, old man. This could have been worse. He's be weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Over here, almost back. Hang in there, old timer. I'm feeling real weird. I bet you are. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. A few weeks, man. You're a survivor. Easy, easy. Okay. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. So there's a Maybe lot of them. we should take up torture. <sighs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. <laughs> nice. We're going to be safe here, John. Hmm? Plow. You, Famous last words. you all be safe. I hope so. I really do. If she ever comes back. I learned this at the other job. <laughs> it ain't the same without the boy helping me, whatever his name was. <laughs> Man. 
Hey, is we trying to grow corn? What the hell? They walked? Where's the wagon? They got a dog! You. Boy. You're... Whatever your name was. I. You always did have that fine way with words. <laughs> you doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? No. You, sure. You're living in the barn. The house is for adults, folks. Give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? <laughs> oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so I reminded us of you. Perfect. That's your idea of a joke, miss? Yeah, it's pretty good. I guess. But my Come name's on. not Rufus. <laughs> The walkway's at the get off the grass. You got a whole driveway. The hell, people. Well, that's a good time, and I think my brother is here. So I'm gonna end the stream here, y'all. Appreciate everybody who's been here. I'll be back later tonight. So if you're looking for more Red Dead epilogue, Red Dead 2 epilogue, we will be here later tonight. Y'all have a good rest of the day. See y'all later.